Your dog needs dental care, but they just won't let you do anything in their mouth. You can't use a toothbrush. You can't use a scaler. These are five home remedies to help treat gingivitis, to help treat tartar that don't involve brushing or scaling. Tula recently had a dental scale and polish and she had a pile of tartar. Her teeth now, they're nice and white and shiny. Her gums look great. But Tula, she hates having things done to her teeth. She won't let me brush her teeth. She won't let me try to even just easily hand scale her teeth. Not like the dentist, do you Toodle? But I want to keep her healthy. I want her to avoid having another anesthesia, dental scale and polish. Here's some things I'm going to try. Maybe they'll work for your dog or cat as well. Number one, aloe vera. Aloe vera is a great natural anti-inflammatory. A 2016 study showed it was specifically beneficial for gingivitis, decreasing plaque production. The liquid and the gel are both safe to use topically on the teeth and the gums. So squirt out some of the aloe vera gel into a bowl. You can then just get some of it on your finger. Morning and night, I'm gonna be able to just rub this gel all along the edge of Tula's teeth and her gum line. Number two, coconut oil. Coconut oil is a wonderful natural product. It's got specific ingredients that make it a natural anti-inflammatory. Scotch also has things such as lauric acid, making it an effective natural antibacterial. A 2015 study showed specific benefits of applying topical coconut oil to the mouth to decrease levels of gingivitis. It tastes good, it has health benefits. Another really good alternative to dogs like Tula and or cats that hate getting their teeth brushed. Just get a little soup on your finger, right little Tula? We're just going to lift up your lips gonna rub this on the gum line and especially focus on those teeth at the back you know that upper fourth premolar those molars that are hard to get to those are the ones where I find the small dogs in particular build up a lot of tartar and that was what happened with Tula and give it at least 60 days before you can assess like whether it's being beneficial or not the thing about coconut oil is she likes it oh three is bee glue also known as propolis Bees need to glue up their hives, keep them safe and warm. The product that they create to do that is called this propolis. It's got a whole array of different medicinal properties. A very effective natural antibacterial, really effective anti-inflammatory. We're also using it for allergies. And it has also been shown to be beneficial for mouth disease, in particular for gingivitis. I really like that it comes in the form of a spray, a little bit of a sore throat, but a little spray. She's not quite as crazy about the spray, Make sure you get into the back of the mouth in particular. Focusing on this area right here, the tooth and the gum line, right? Number four, this is a natural product, comes from seaweed. This is plaque off. There are specific ingredients in that seaweed which decrease the level of bacteria in the mouth, decrease the level of plaque, and then all make it more difficult for that bacteria to adhere to the teeth and then turn from plaque into tartar. We use plaque off a lot in practice we found for many of these dogs and cats that had gingivitis, dental disease, like this is one of the few products that really work. So I'm going to get too long on this because I, I just cannot brush your teeth. Like I'm hoping this is going to be the ticket. The dose is really small. So, so the dose for a small dog and cat, half a scoop a day. It's a teeny little scooper. That's a teeny little bit of mouth. That's all she's going to get daily. And the one caveat, because it's seaweed, it's rich in iodine. So you don't want to be giving it to any cat that is hypothyroid. How long is it going to take? I mean, it does take a while. So I think a reasonable amount of time is a 90 day trial or three months. Number five, this is a home remedy involving flushing. We have green tea, half a cup, unpasteurized honey, one teaspoon. Green tea, sit and steep for about 15 or 20 minutes. So it's lukewarm. Teaspoon of our unpasteurized honey. It's something that you can make ahead of time, keep it in the fridge refrigerated. We want to be making a fresh batch every three days. Green tea, it's got an array of different medicinal properties, but in particular, it's a very effective natural antibacterial. It's been studied and shown to be effective for oral health, in particular for gingivitis. Honey has been extensively studied an extremely well-documented natural antibacterial. The two of them make a great combination as a natural, effective antibacterial mouthwash. I've got a handy dandy little five cc or five mil syringe. This is one teaspoon. I'm going to draw five mils up in the syringe and what I'm going to do is actually squirt this along her teeth a bit of a forceful mouthwash. I want to rinse especially her back molars. What do you think Tula? 
the ones she won't let me get to, but I know I can, and I'm just gonna squirt it all along the top of her tooth line, her tooth and her gum line meet, get to the back. So when you put force with a syringe on your dog's mouth, like along that tooth and the gum line, you're manually removing some of that plaque, which is what we want. I know she won't let me brush her teeth, she won't let me scale them, but I'm doing the next best thing. There's one large human study that showed a huge benefits of green tea for just general periodontal health. And they showed a direct correlation between the amount of green tea consumed and how healthy your gums are. After I read that study, I thought to myself, self, you need to consume more green tea. Start with one to two remedies first, assess after 60 to 90 days. Lula really likes the coconut oil. So once daily, I'm gonna be rubbing along her gum line the coconut oil. I'm gonna be daily adding this to her diet, a half a scoop of the plaque off. After 90 days, we're gonna assess her teeth. She's gonna be back here. You can assess with me. And we can see, has this helped or not? Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on my top five remedies to help your dog or cat who won't let you use a toothbrush or a scaler. Click up there to subscribe and hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my new free book.